everyone, uh, my name is Erin, um, and I'm just here to briefly go over this hair piece that I got um, from Hair Couture and Wigs. <clears throat> um, I got my hair piece about a month and a half ago, um, so I'll just go over a little bit of why I got it. Uh, I had six and a half weeks of radiation uh, to my brain, and it made the hair just in the front of my head fall out. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like in a few minutes. but. It wasn't my whole head, so I really kind of debated over the fact of whether I would go ahead and shave my whole head and wear wigs or just wear headbands and hats to cover it up for the next year until it grew back. I didn't really know that there was an in-between option until I really started doing some research. Uh, so I found hair couture and wigs and I kind of saw that they had hair pieces and I emailed them just to, you know, ask what a hair piece was and how it was different from a wig and if they would have something that um, would be able to help me. Uh, so why don't I go ahead and show you what my hair looks like without the hair piece on so you can kind of get an idea because, like I said, I didn't know that there was an option for someone who just had um, an area of hair loss and not their entire hair. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you that now. Okay, so I've already undone the clips and um, unstuck the tape on the front just so I can take it off pretty easily. It does not come off easily, um, as I'll show you in a few minutes, but it comes off. And then, so this is the hair loss I had from radiation. So my options, I thought, were to either shave my whole head um, and get a full wig or to wear a headband, uh, which I do still wear headbands sometimes, but um, it's nice to have real hair a lot, a lot of the time, too. Um, so this is the hair piece once I take it off. This one is um, real human hair. It's beautiful. It's very nice and soft. I can brush it and style it and do whatever I would do to it, do to my normal hair. Um, this is the inside. And these clips on the side clip into the hair that I have. And then I do tape in the front and just on one side, just to tape it and secure it a little bit better. Um, like I said, once it's on, I can't feel it, it doesn't itch, um, the clips don't bother me, you'd have to pull it really hard to get it to come off. I don't think you could get it to come off unless you really wanted it to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on and just kind of uh, show you like how I style it and prove that it can't be pulled off really easily. Um, that's it. That's all for the inside. It just clips in on the sides and in the back, and then in the front I have a couple pieces of double-sided tape. Um, I really can't feel it once it's on. I haven't had any problems with it itching. Um, it's on there pretty good. I mean, it's. I need to want it to come off if it's going to come off. Um, and I kind of have it pulled back right now, but... Um, you can kind of style it just like you would style your own hair, and I've just kind of been playing with it and learning how to do it, um, but it's been pretty easy the first couple times. There was a little bit of a learning curve, but I didn't really style my own hair very much, so it kind of took me a probably a little bit longer to learn how to style this one, um, but I've had no problems with it. Like I said, it's really comfortable. It's not itchy. Um, it can't come off. Uh, and I love it. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot of uses out of it. Uh, when I initially called them, I did my whole consult um, over the phone and on Skype. Uh, so I just kind of sent them a couple pictures of what my hair looked like um, and what I was looking for. And they knew right away that they had something that could help me. Um, and they sent me a couple pieces and I tried this one and it was perfect. I did go get it cut uh, by my local hairdresser just to... It was a little bit longer than the rest of my hair, so I got it cut. Um, but it worked out really well. So if you're interested in trying something, definitely give them a call. Um, they're really good with getting back to you and sending something. And if you don't like it, you can just send it back. Um, just paper shipping. And I don't know. It worked out really well for me. Good luck.